Hey guys, welcome back. We've got this little bridge project here. All we are doing, so we're just gonna weld these joints right here. on all of the i beam. That's it. Nice, flat, super easy. Just gonna kinda show you a little, quick little video of welding on a bridge. Quick little preheat to take the chill out of the metal. Take the chill, take the chill out. It's about 32 degrees right now. So we're gonna just kinda warm it up a little bit before we weld it. We can't go too hot because you got that rubber underneath there. We don't wanna melt that. So you can see on this one, because we have to weld it with uh, the nuts already bolted down, it's kind of hard to get in there. So we have to come from the backside, weld the backside, chip the flux, and then come from the front out. Can't do it in one pass. So it'll, even that one still, still do two passes. It'll, it'll be a better quality, quality weld that way. You can see some of the factory welds. Looks pretty good. Typical 045 dual shield there. All right, let's weld these ones up. Cute little bridge.
for all the welding done in this video, we used a Miller Big Blue 600 air pack as a power source, a Miller Arc Reach 12 as a suitcase welder, and we used 1 16th um, Lincoln 71A85 structural dual shield, ran 75% argon, 25% CO2 for the gas at about 30 CFH. We ran 30 volts and 275 inches per minute. At one point, we had 75, um, about 90 feet of wire of lead out across the bridge. And uh, I didn't adjust the settings. Everything was nice and still nice and hot. Preheated everything a little bit. Pretty straightforward job. Um, I wasn't given any specific welding code. I just kind of went with what I knew and what they told me it needed to be. And the only requirement was a certified welder did it. So with that being said, everything went uh, pretty smoothly. Well, that's it. Quick little about two hour and 20 minute job. Nice and simple, wrap up a Friday morning. Nice scenery, no cell service, which can be nice. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.